Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NHL slate for this evening, uh, November 15th. And we're going to go through our normal process of how to build lineups using the various tools available uh, on TrueDFS uh, and Sabersim. We're going to go through the just overall look at the team totals. Then we're going to take a look at the sheets, which include the projections and also the ownership and the, the stacks and things like that. We're going to build a, a hand-built lineup using that. And then we're going to get into SaberSim and build two sets of lineups, one using SaberScore and one using uh, Contest Sims. And again, just kind of show you a, a kind of hopefully a repeatable process using the tools available to you. Uh, last night, we had a pretty good little game stack at the end of the night. Didn't look like it was going to end that way uh, at, as the game started, but game kind of went off in the third period. So we did, we did okay. Um, tonight, we're going to take a look and we see – you know, we always look for team totals above four, at least to start. And you see Edmonton at 4.2. And then you have Colorado 3.8, Vancouver 3.6, followed by Carolina. So you would think logically that was, would be the stacks that you'd, want to, that you'd want to play or the teams you'd want to play. But as this is a salary game, uh, it's not exactly that easy. Um, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the sheets and see who looks good here. Then we'll take a look at the stacks and then we'll build a lineup. So again, these uh, these sheets are usually available for premium subscribers on TrueDFS. It has what I consider the best projection set around because it accesses almost all the other projection sets, and it tweaks a little bit and it adjusts for you know we back tested some of this for accuracy and this that and the other thing. So rather than me having to go through all the ins and outs of making projections myself, this is my. I've developed over the years is the ability to take the best from everybody. And this is, and this is sort of the way the law of large numbers works. You know, the more opinions you're having putting into the same set, more likely it is that you're closest. So uh, this is what we have. We also have a uh, an ownership projection, which is very similar. I mean, similarly obtained. We have the, uh, the lines, which are very, very fluid, to say the least. And then the two big ratings here, which is one, the points per dollar rating, and also the sheets value score rating. And the sheets value score rating is kind of a combination of points per dollar and uh, and just overall fantasy points. And this is where I start. You know, I start if I run the projections or someone runs them for me, I just do bam, I just look here and see what 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 looks like I something I'd want to play. And the first thing that I notice when I look at this slate, I look at this is ooh. We got a cheapo or a cheaper, you know, forty-seven hundred dollar guy, who is rated near the top of the list. Um, and not only that, but they have him alongside of the two top players. So this Colorado first line is going to be an extreme priority. Okay, um, and because you have Nizhushkin in here, he's going to make it, I would say, necessarily affordable, at least close to it. Then you even get Devin Toes here, who's not on the power play line, but he's on the first line, and he's only 3,600. So you could probably get that whole thing. And then the next thing I'll see is I see, obviously, the Edmonton guys are showing up here. Um, McDavid, Hyman, Bouchard, and Hopkins. And again, because Bouchard and Hopkins are relatively affordable, and you play a Vander Kane if you want, well, Vander Kane's not on the same line. So you might be able to get these Edmonton guys in also. What you don't see is a lot of value. Um, let's just take a look. Oh, Devin Toes, he's probably a good one-off value. Brett Burns, 4,800, that's not that low. So it looks as though it's going to be a pretty chalky slate. You know, just you have enough pieces from both Colorado and Edmonton so that you can build from both of those. And if that's the case, maybe it's the right idea to just go ahead and just pivot and play somebody else. And that's what we're going to use Saberson for. We're going to use Saberson to kind of find those, those low owned bits of leverage because what Saberson is going to do, especially with the contest sims, is it's going to presume that people are playing this. So it might recommend that we play that. Um, so anyway, let's take a look. Let's build a, well, before we build, let's look at the stacks, I guess. I'm not, it's, I'm not going to be surprised what it says, but yep. We have, according to modified stack ratings, you have the Colorado and Edmonton just laying over the field. Uh, more to the point, you have Colorado laying it over the field over Edmonton. And then pretty much of an equal drop to Vancouver. 
So, yeah. Again, nothing particularly earth shattering about this slate. So let's go ahead and build, see which one of these is easier to build here. So let's build, um, let's pull up, uh, I just did dummy lineups for now, but let's just take a look to see what a lineup you know could look like. So before we forget, we'll put in the Devin Toes. I think he may, he's gonna make the whole world go round, right? And then the Nizushkin, right? That's the other one, 4,700. And then let's just fill those in. I mean, let's 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 remind ourselves of what line these guys are on. How about that? Maybe that maybe that could be somewhat useful. Nizushkin, the one one. I mean, all these are one one. So let's just let's just see if we can pile them all in. Uh, forget the defenseman for a minute. Let's just see if we can just play McKinnon and Ranton in. I mean, they're very expensive, but they're really gonna just let us play these guys. There's no way. Not 4660 is no bargain. All right. So it's not exactly that simple to play all these guys. Um, like for example, let's put a let's put a goalie in and see what we are faced with. What I just like to do is play the cheapest goalie that's reasonable. And let's take a look and see what that might be. 8,400, that's not going to work. Oh, we don't even have that many goalies projected. So we're going to have a problem here um, with my projections. Well, Carter Hart, 7,100. So there, we're going to have more We're going to have more goalies in here, but Carter Hart, 7,100 is certainly going to be the prime candidate here. But somehow he's not one of the guys that we are stacking against. That's pretty amazing. So if you play those four Colorado guys, you're left with 4,000 a man. And I guess what makes it difficult is like we said, there's not really a lot of value. Um, but I guess you would start with uh, that was the cheapo from the other game we talked about? Let's see. It was the toes we already have. We could play Miles Wood, but he's just the third line from Colorado. We don't want that. Lost we'll Colt in the second line. So maybe it's not so easy. What I want to do is let me look at the stacks from a value perspective. See what we can. So Philly would be the best point per dollar stack with the exception of Colorado. So Philly and then maybe Carolina. Maybe we use those guys. Now again, we're all using we're already using the Philly goalie, so we can't use Carolina. So why don't we why don't we play Philly? See what see if anybody's cheap enough. Over there, um, let's see. Um, we don't want Courier. Play Frost. He's twenty eight hundred. Konecki, can we afford this? Try. And defenseman. Uh, Sealer. Yeah, so we could do this. Any chance these guys are on the right line? I doubt it. Let's just take a look. Let's see these Philly guys, these clowns that we just played. Uh, Frost is on the second line. Kineski on the second line. So all these guys, I guess, are on the second line. Kineski, Frost. Sealers on the second line. So Philly, too. All right, this isn't bad. So we're playing four Colorados, three Phillies. Now we're just left with one $4,000 cheapo. All right, let's do it. Wow, I never thought I'd be able to get away with that. Miles Wood, we could play him. There's a not exactly correlation, but it is the same team. No, we need someone from another team, right? So anybody here, oh, this guy's always worth a stab at Kilmore. 
this guy's not bad. So that's one thing we could do. And this is a perfectly, this is a, this is kind of a superstar lineup from one of two. Anyway, um, let's assign that. And then just for just for fun, let's see what we could do if we played Edmondson. And that would be, uh, let's see who we'd want to play for Edmondson if we could. Well, I know it would be McDavid. I think it would be Hyman, right? And then it would be, let's pull this up again. It would be McDavid, Hyman, ugh. Drysidel, Bouchard, Hopkins. We can't do all that. Bouchard, is that what we said? I mean, we're never going to be able to do this because you got to put you put hard in, and then then you got nothing. All right, so this isn't going to work. But but I mean, this. Yeah, the Edmonton guys are rough. Edmonton guys are rough. So that's going to be my initial build, I guess, is to play the Colorados with those Philly cheapos and make that worth it. All right, so let's go to Sabersim, though, and we'll build there. Now we're going to upload the projections. One thing is a little trick. Oh, wow, it's a trick. But if you're, if you're doing it my way, um, usually what I'll do is I'll click on uh, exclude unlisted players. So this way, if I don't have a guy projected, it won't show up. But because I didn't get a lot of the goalies, I have to include them. So I'll, I'll let Saberson replace my goalies or at least add some goalies. And you see, it's got all these goalies here. Um, so let's um, let's build oh, 40, 40 lineups. Let's see what we come up with. I'm pretty sure that uh, who knows? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure it's going to do the same thing, but we'll see. And then we're going to run a contest sim and see if when you tell it to compare our lineups to what it thinks the field is actually going to play, it kind of changes uh, the structure. Let's just take a look first at the regular Saber score build. Sec. Gotta watch this. Every, oh, yeah, all this Colorado. It's like basically all of it. Colorado, 100% Colorado. And the first thing I would do is I would go into make it min three uniques, but still 100% Colorado. You know, it's because of that guy, because of toes, just makes it all work. And you can even play wood. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really popular. So just for the hell of it, one second. Um, so let's uh, let's upload these now, just for the purposes of um, of saving something, and then we will do a contest. And I have to believe. That contest. I have to believe that if you did a contest sim, that we wouldn't get a hundred percent Colorado because you'd have to believe that it would it would know that they're going to be like like really really highly owned. But let's uh, let's see, let's take a look. We'll run a contest sim and see what they see what that displays. the thing between Nishushkin and and toes it just makes this whole thing go
All right, so when we sort this by the kick save, by risk-adjusted ROI, we get, there you, there you go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little bit of leverage here. So, yes, yeah, so you play Seattle and then also with Colorado. That's what I'm interested in. The only thing here is that there's a lot of nonsense stacks, you know, 3-3, three, three, stuff like that. So we have to clean that up a little bit. So that's probably what I would do. Even on a four-game slate, I want to have – I can't, you know, got to have some purity. Can't do a 3-0, right? Two. Look at that one. Um, four three four two two three three two four two five two three two two and a five man. Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. Same thing. Almost seventy percent Seattle. See, that's what I'm interested. In. That's what I want. To see. So let's put in there like this. Excellent. We will download these. Oops, they've not all been filled. Uh, yeah, that's fine because it didn't do the uh, what you want to call it, the uh, the top shelf, which I already saved. With that other lineup. All right, so that's pretty much the deal, and I think that's somewhat instructive. You know, I, I do like it when when you run the contest sim, it gives you something a little different than the saber sim because it makes you feel as though it's actually doing something. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah. So overall, Colorado is definitely the best play, but when you factor in leverage and things like that, I wouldn't mind doing something like Seattle. Uh, that should do it. Uh, good luck, everybody. And I'm getting, I'm going to update all this a little bit later, but that is the process that I will use later today, earlier, whatever. That's the way I play hockey.